What's going on, Golf Addicts? DB here to give you a demo of the Bet the Number custom model page, which is the page everybody wants to know. Show me how it works. Show me what it does, DB. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to walk through here on a screen share and show you everything you need to know about the custom model as of today, January 5th. The site just launched January 1st. So I will say this up front. It's going to change, and it's going to change frequently rapidly there's a lot of plans we've got developers hammering away on the keys getting this thing to a certain point um you know by the players it's going to look much different by the masters it's going to look much different so on and so forth so it is a it is in continuous development and you will see changes regularly on bet the number i can assure you so this demo is probably not going to be relevant for forever but it will at least give you an introduction to what it does and how powerful the custom model tool is it is arguably the most customizable custom model that we're aware of anywhere. I mean, I'm going to show you stats in here that I've not seen on any other website right now. And uh, we've even got our own proprietary stats in the works that make appearances on pages like the course page, which is in a different video, but it's coming soon to the custom model. Now, if you haven't already watched the other videos, they are available. I've got the tournament page that I cover, the course page that I'm going to cover, as well as the player profile page. But today, it's all about the custom model. That's the Mac Daddy. That's what everybody wants to see. And the custom model is really uh, a differentiator for us in that we've got some behind-the-scenes things working for the custom model, meaning we have a, a member of our team, an owner of the Bet the Number team, that professionally, for the last few years, has made it his living to break down golf courses on the PGA Tour statistically, give analysis to some of the best around a dozen of the best players on the PGA Tour week in and week out. He knows these courses better than anyone, um, and, and he's a statistical genius. So we appreciate him, and he is a founding owner of Bet the Number. And so every single week, all of the data that he's acquired over the years, what he knows um, both, uh, you know, both quantifiably and not, is factored into the Bet the Number model. And the Bet the Number model – is something that we feel like is going to be a differentiator. And if you're someone who doesn't really want to build a custom model, you don't want to get into the weeds of doing that, that's where the Bet the Number site gives you a massive advantage because you could literally go off of the proprietary Bet the Number model that is displayed for the public, the paying public, every single week. So if you're a member of Bet the Number, you can see the, the, the model when the field populates uh, and when you're starting to do your research, you don't even have to do your own. Or you can tweak it, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. If you've not already subscribed to Bet the Number, you can uh, scan the QR code that you see here on the screen. Make sure you use promo code TJ at checkout for Tour Junkies. Code TJ at checkout gets you $5 off the monthly membership or $50 off the annual membership. However, if you are a member of the Tour Junkies Discord, if you're not, that's there's also a link in this video for that. If you're a member of the Discord, slide in my DMs, Tour Junkies DB, slide in my DMs, Ask me for a unique code. I will give you a one-time, one-use, unique code that will give you the largest discount on planet Earth offered by Bet the Number to anyone, and that is Tour Junkies Discord members. So uh, you can do that now if you haven't already scanned the QR code. Um, all right, let's get into this. Let me share my screen. First of all, if you've not purchased Bet the Number, this is what you will see when you arrive to bettthenumbergolf.com. Landing page here, we talk about kind of the, the the four steps, right? Dissect the golf course, which is the course preview and, and, and course page analysis I'll get to in another video. Crunch the numbers on the tournament page or your custom model. Confirm your picks. Confirm your selections with some players. Shout out Siwoo, okay? And count the money. You know what I mean? That's what that's – you're going to – definitely going to be doing that. Uh, and some features and pricing options on Bet the Number as well. All right, let's get into it. Let me show you the custom model page. You're going to love this. And again, the site launched four days ago. And I, while obviously I play a big role in developing the site, I'm still learning the new features every day. So I might mess something up or go slow. Forgive me. All right. This is the custom model for the Century 2024. Very similar to the tournament page. If you watched that, you have the drop downs here. You can change the years and look back. You can change the tournament. Um, and yeah, over here on the right is key. Okay. We've got three different ways to look at the data. Let's start with raw values. It's just what it says. It's the raw values. So if you want to look at ball speed, you got ball speed. If you want to look at, um, you know, approach the green, whatever, you can look at that through the raw values here. Rankings is what everybody's used to looking at. 
while it's not bad, it's easy, it's digestible. I don't mind looking at it. There are flaws in the, you know, in this kind of ranking of, of data, um, which is why we develop BTN scores. And BTN scores give this score rating to every statistic, which add up to behind the scenes to a model score, which then interprets it into a model rank. Now, I want to stop sharing for a second and read you the definition straight from the BTN golf account of what the model score and the BTN scores come out to be. Um, so let me stop sharing. I'm going to get right back in here in a second. I'm going to stop and I want to show you this from the bet the number Twitter account. The proprietary BTN score in our custom model is anything but arbitrary. We use advanced statistics to calculate how much how much a player deviates from the field in each metric and then weight the BTN scores across all the selected metrics to determine each player's overall model score for the tournament. The BTN score provides a powerful improvement over the traditional ranking methodology of our competitors. You can actually see how meaningful the variance is from player to player across a diverse set of statistics you have selected, filtered, and fine-tuned in your custom model exclusively on Beth and Number. All right, so they said it way better than I could say it. I, honestly, I don't even all, all the way understand all that mess, so it's just better, okay? And if you – I know I'm being an idiot, but if, if, you're, a, if you're a noob – or if you're somebody that just doesn't want to do all the extra custom stuff, like I said, you could literally just make sure you have the BTN model selected and go off of this, sort it by the rank or whatever. Now, before I get into the model specifics, let me show you some, some other changes you can make to the layout here. So we've got BTN scores selected, um, but let's just go to rankings just for the fun of it because that's what everybody's used to. We're going we're gonna to change that, but that's what everybody's used to. Uh, Year-to-date stats. If you hover over year-to-date stats, you can add things like FedEx Cup points, season earnings, wins, top tens, and it just adds that column to your view. You can check it off here. DFS. Currently, we only show the DK DFS salary for DraftKings. FanDuel salaries incoming soon. Okay, so we can we can add the DK salaries odds. Currently, all the odds are pulling live from DraftKings Sportsbook. If the odds are on DraftKings Sportsbook, they are pulling live from DraftKings. We already have access to other books. We are uh, getting access to other books as we speak, and we'll make that more robust in the coming weeks and months. Uh, but same kind of thing. You can hover over here and add outright, and I want to look at top 20s. I want to look at top 10s, okay? And it throws it in your, your columns for you. So, and you can sort. So, any of these columns, you can change the sorting uh, by outrights. I want to look at drafting salary, whatever. I want to look at ball speed, who hits it the fastest, furthest, whatever. All that's pretty self explanatory. So, that's really your view. Then we get into the model. So, on the left hand side here, you have a drop down. And in this drop down, you will always see a couple of things. You will see BTN proprietary models. If it says BTN models and it'll say BTN the tournament and year, that is the BTN behind the scenes model that we are giving to you as a subscriber. Um, the summary model, if I click summary, that is the basic stats overview model that also spits forward to the tournament page if you click on the tournament page. So it's the same data that goes over to the tournament page. It allows you to manipulate it a little more with the filtering. I'll show you in a second, but that's what that is. For the most part, you're going to come over here and you're either going to look at the BTN centric, you know, the, B, the BTN century model or whatever tournament you're looking at, or you're going to make your own. So you can also hit new model. And yes, you can save your models and name your models however you want to name them, however you want to save them. So let me show you this. Um, let me do a new custom model. This is going to be fun. We're gonna, you guys are going to love this, all right? So it, it gives me the basics. I'm going to take out some of this, this noise here. Um, we'll leave DK salary up there for the fun of it. So we click here on our filtering. This is where the game has changed friends. All right. First of all, top right, you're going to see total weight set. Yes, it calculates it for you automatically. However, if you're a dummy like me and you don't want to think about all that, basically whatever percentage I throw in here, it's going to ratio it to 100 percent. So if my if my stuff adds up to 124 percent, it's going to ratio everything to 100 percent, whatever it whatever it needs to be. So it's really dummy proof. Um, yeah. Global filters. This the global filters up here will apply to every column, every statistic that you add down here, unless you filter it at the individual statistic level. And yes, all of our rounds can be changed to literally anything. If you want to go last 
13 rounds, and you want to really piss my boy Pat off because it's an odd number and he hates odd numbers, you can do that. And that will apply the global filter. Everything will be 13 rounds unless you say otherwise. This is where it starts getting fun, but it's going to get more fun. Filter by course. This will apply to a global filter if I do it in here, but there's also the option to do it down here, which I'll show you in a second, but it's the same filtering. So we have the ability to filter by architect, and all of these architects are confirmed PGA Tour architect data. Green size. Green type of grass. Chipping type of grass, because that, that does matter. It makes a difference. Rough type of grass. And then what happens is as you make those selections, like let me go, well, overseed's terrible, but let me go bent POA, POA, whatever. As you make those selections, oh, that's the rough grass, my bad. I, I should probably not. Uh, see, I, I knew I'd screw something up. Let me go green grass. Let's go POA, bent POA. Oh, yeah, let's do that. All right, So and let's do medium and large. Okay, so as you make these selections, the courses under here start to populate. And it will give you all of the courses that fit your criteria. Now, if you if you look at all of them, say, yep, all looks good, you can select all. OK, if you're like, well, you know, the Belfry, I mean, when's the last time I played the Belfry? Screw that. Shinnecock. I mean, that was a major. Let's take out the majors. I really want to look at, you know, just the stuff that we play every single year, whatever. OK, you can uncheck boxes. You can clear the filter, however you want to do it. When you click apply, it will apply that globally since I'm on the global filter. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't screw things up. It would just make it weird. So, all right, that's the global filter. But the columns work a lot of the same, a lot of the same way. If that made any sense. I can't talk. Um, okay, so here's the column. Let's just say, all right, let, let's look at, let's go through the, the statistics first. As I said, we are capturing every statistic that Shot Link and the PJ Tour are capturing, but we are only choosing to show the ones we think are relevant. That may change. Okay, we are going to add statistics that we create from the Shotling data and, and using multiple other statistics to come to a new statistic. That will be happening soon as well. For now, it's divided into like we've got a, a drives heading here and you can hover over each stat and it will show you, you know, okay, what this means, rough tendency. Okay, the percentage of time a tee shot comes to rest in the rough. Cool. When the distance of the drive is determined by laser. Uh, awesome. All right, so that's the drive section. All this is in the drive section. Approaches. OK, we're going to this is where we're going to get real juicy here in a second in the approaches bucket. But, you know, same kind of thing around the green. Same kind of thing. OK, putting all of that general scoring. So those are the those are the sections. OK, so now let's say and, and this is another thing you might have noticed right off the bat. We can do strokes gained off the tee per shot versus baseline and per round versus baseline. I don't see that everywhere. OK. So let's just leave it at a, let's just go driving distance or let's actually let's let's do something uh, let's go uh, ooh let, let you know I used to love I used to love this back in the day in 2015 when we first started I used to talk apex high it used to drive Pat crazy let's give that a nine percent rating and let me label it um, D you can literally label it whatever you want DB's apex apex banger you know let's just do that. Um, and, and the, the arrows let you move the arrows to the right, let you move where it shows up in the column in your entire table view. So if you want it first in the table view, you need it here. If you want it second, um, you know, you could do that. All right, let's have some fun strokes gained approach again, per shot and per, per shot versus baseline and per round. All right. So I can go per round. This is, this is no big deal. And I can, I can, this is where you can do some extra filtering here on the left. I can say, well, for strokes gained, um, well, I meant to do a pro well, hold on, hold on. Let me do strokes gain approach. Where did I go? Here we go. Strokes gain approach. Uh, let's do per shot versus baseline. This is some proprietary stuff that I've not seen anywhere else. If we go to per shot versus baseline and I click the, the carrot here, okay, I can change some stuff. I can change, um, I can change this to, let's see, I'll change this to 50 rounds, okay? I can select minimum yardages and maximum yardages, basically whatever I want. If I want to say 60 yards to, um, you know, 147, I can do that. This is cool too. From different lies. Okay. Why this is important. If you're at a golf course like Kapalua, 
where the fairways are 60 to 100 yards wide and 80% of drives end up in the fairway. You don't you don't really care about their stroke scene approach global number if that includes a bunch of stuff from the rough or if it's a course that doesn't have a lot of bunker fairway bunkers or or whatever. Like you want to eliminate as much noise as possible from your your model. So I'm going to say I'm going to select fairway and I'm going to select T because that includes the par 3s that fit that bucket, right? I can even continue filtering by course just like I did on at, at the global filter level. So if I want to say, well, you know, uh, this is all I want to do it hitting into small greens. I can do that. All, all of those same, this same filtering applies. Okay. So bang. I mean, that's, that's freaking awesome. All right. Strokes game putting per round. If I change this to, let me get to my putting strokes game per, per shot versus baseline. I can do similar things. I can work similar magic. Let's go 20 rounds. And I think it's uh, a Kapalua. You're going to have a lot of seven footers and, uh, you know, in, inside of 20 feet. Bang. And I want to filter it by Bermuda. I'm going to select all. Bang. So now my putting filter is here. And it's filtering. To, it's showing me that it's filtering to 35 courses based on my selections. Anything that shows up blue here means there's an additional filter outside of the global filtering. Let me add a new filter and show you something else around the green that's fun. All right, so let's go to strokes gained around the green. And let's go to per shot versus baseline. And let's go to, let's just say 75 rounds. Okay, let's give it uh, 10%. And let's give, um, I can get specific here too. I mean, I can go, Mac, I can go, um, you know, I, I don't, I can do all kind of stuff. But the, the yardage isn't as important as the, what I'm about to show you next. Uh, we know that around the green is up to 30 yards, so let's go 30. The lies, you can do the same thing here. And this is important. Think about Augusta National. If you miss the green at Augusta, are you chipping off a of short grass or are you chipping out of thick rough like you would at a U.S. Open? Obviously, you're chipping off of short grass. That matters. It's different. Guys are better. Some guys are better and worse chipping off the short stuff and the thick stuff. Me personally, way better out of the thick stuff. I'll blade, skull bang, you know, or totally chili dip of – a chip shot off a tight lot because it's scary. So I'm going to filter by fairway. And again, I can do all the filtering at the course level that I want to do. If it's uh, if the chipping grass is Bermuda, that matters. Grainy Bermuda chipping matters, especially in the South. Uh, if the rough, you know, if the rough was whatever, I could, you know, rough do Bermuda, that whatever. Well, I guess I'm doing chipping, so that doesn't really matter. But anyway, you can uh, you can see how custom you can really get on this thing when you're all said and done. You hit apply. It's going to spit out a beautiful, a, a very weird model, though. It's going to be very, very strange. Obviously, the more detailed you get, the more specific you get with some of those things, the longer it could take. Um, but yeah, that's the custom model. Okay, you can all you can obviously do the player search in here, just like you can on the tournament page, and it's uh, it's a live search feature. So as you're typing, here you go. Uh, in the within the columns, you can click on the row for the player, and it will drop down their most five recent tournaments in the basic strokes gain categories, as well as five years worth of course history if they have it. And if they have more than that, and you want to see all of it, you can go click on the player's name, and it'll take you to the player page where you can see everything about that player, including uh, all of their century performances, if that's what you're looking at. And it does stay open if you expand the player uh, the, the player card or the player row there. It does stay expanded. So that is the custom model. All right, I think that about covers it. Um, don't forget, if you want to get bet the number, you can scan the QR code right now. Promo code TJ gets you $5 off a monthly or $50 off of annual. But if you are a paying TJ Discord member, also link in the description, you can slide in Tour Junkies DB's DMs or Tour Junkies Pat. He can do it too. And we can happily give you a one-time unique code to get even a bigger discount from bet the number. I think that's it, but stay tuned for more demos as the site evolves, I promise you. Uh, it, it's going to get better and better, folks. The, the the roadmap is looking strong. I'm excited about what's to come. Thank you. Let's bend over our bookies and make some green screens. See you.